Hello and welcome to the top 6 mods for City Skylines to start 2022. And if you already have a city or if you're starting a new one, this is the right moment for you to stop and think about the mods that you want to add to City Skylines. Because this can make your life a lot easier or can make it a nightmare. <laughs> so uh, here's my list of the top 6 mods that I think are essential for your next city. Starting with number six is the picker mod. So what the picker mod does, it adds this little picker here at the bottom right side of the screen. And if you click on that, as you can see, you can hover around any building, road or assets in the your city. And if you select it, it will open the, that item for you and that will be automatically selected. I use this quite a lot, especially to select like different roads or different pathways. I just click on that and it opens for me and I can just start placing that down. And this works with even buildings. If you have find it mod installed, it goes straight into that building as well. Or if you want a tree, it selects that for you. If you want a, this specific road, for example, there you go, it gives that to you in every single building in our city, it also works as well. So I think this saves you a lot of time and um, eliminates that time where you are struggling to find, oh, where is that specific road? Is it like on this menu or that menu? You can just select picker, select the road that you want, and there you go, you can just place that down. I use that a lot, especially to try to find these, um, cyclists and uh, road with cycling uh, ways they I usually struggle to find them so I just use picker select that and then good to go so this is the number six number five is the improved public transport tool so what that is is basically if you have your public transportation you this mod adds uh, a few options in there I'll just show you the ones that I use the most and the reason why I think this is very helpful. So for each line, you can select the types of um, vehicles that you want and you can just have those vehicles in that line. So if I just wanted school buses in this line, for example, I'll just pick a school bus and add them to my list. Uh, budget, I can avoid budget control on that and regardless of the budget that I have for the line, I'll always have the same number of vehicles for that line because I go on each of my lines and make sure that I have the right number of vehicles in there. So I just don't overdo and have like 30 vehicles in a line that has five stops, for example. So I can pick the vehicle that I want, add the number or remove the vehicles and have the total over here. I can also set a vehicle unbunching, select the depot those vehicles are coming from. This is extremely helpful if you have like tram lines, for example, that you need uh, uh, the tracks connected, otherwise that won't work. And yeah, I think that is fantastic to help me with that. But this is number five. What's number four? Number four is electric roads by Clyde. So if you look at this mod, you can actually electrify your roads. And what it does, especially if you just go like on the bird's eye view here, you can see that all my roads are now transporting electricity, which is basically how it should work, right? Your uh, train lines, they do need electricity, so that makes sense. Your roads, you usually have light poles on them, so they should transfer electricity to other areas. And that means that, for example, for this little area in here, I don't actually need power lines connecting here to this area. The roads will transfer energy in there and it'll be a little bit more realistic. So I think that's a great mod to have. It will save you a lot of time placing those ugly power lines and you can use that as decoration on uh, or where they actually make sense instead of having them everywhere just before just because power is not jumping across the highway. So there we go. This is our number four. Now number three. 
and hopefully this is not a surprise for anyone this is the intersection marking tool so the intersection marking tool allow you to well do some markings on your intersections and even on stretches of road as well so this is fantastic to add um, road decoration and make sure that you have the right guides so for example these markings on here and this is one of my favorite ones as well where you have like the cycling and if i select these as you can see these are all placed manually and we have the lines we have fillers making sure that we have like the cycling path in there and all the sort of stuff and you can save templates you can apply you can copy and paste it's a lifesaver and it does make your city look awesome like as you can see this looks really really cool because you have all those markings you can make sure you're giving them a guide although this is not direct traffic but it will give you an indication as it should be on where traffic should flow so for example this is just a left turn so uh, cars won't go over the line here to try to go straight they always get out of the roundabout so i think this is quite awesome but there you go this is number three intersection marking tool now for number two i think this again is not a surprise but it's the move it mod now this mod is quite fantastic for a number of reasons uh, you can do a lot of different things with this you can select nodes you can select segments or buildings trees any element on your um on your city basically and you can pick this and move them around to a position that better suits you so this is quite a helpful uh tool so you can place things like sometimes you see this gap here this is because it's a little bit further from that road i could just move it back a little bit move it slightly to the sides and change that so that's just how that works that's fantastic you can also just pick like for example trees and when you do a drag and drop you just pick the trees there are some hidden in here which is quite helpful if you want to delete as well you can just delete everything that you're not actually using or that's hidden or if you don't like all of this you can just go there and delete that as simple as that you can also use this to duplicate you can duplicate those trees and copy and paste over there for example and you just do that and finally something else that you can do that i think it's really really helpful and i use all the time if i select nodes for example get all the nodes from this whole this road in here not that one and i want to maybe slope objects then i'll press this and you automatically slope this for me i don't really want to do that so i'll keep things as they were but this is really helpful you can align items using uh, the terrain height or the object height and if i pick like for example uh, a building as well and i can align that to this building and then it's automatically aligned to that one so that's quite a powerful tool especially if you want to make things look a little bit smoother and not like going a crazy um, ramp or things like that i always use that everywhere to make sure that things are looking a lot smoother and you don't have like some crazy elevations as you can see like especially tracks like this i've been using these tracks over there i've been using these this goes down quite a lot in here as you can see and this is all using move it so you have a smooth transition same goes for pathways and roads and things like that so that's quite a powerful tool now for the first one and if you know me you know what i'll be talking about that is the traffic manager resident edition i use the stable version which is currently version 11 but this is one of the most powerful tools in the game that you can set 
traffic lights you can set, automated traffic lights or timed traffic lights. You can do manual uh, traffic lights, you can do lane connector, so you can, for example, avoid cars changing lanes here just on one side or selecting which lanes they should actually go. You can change, for example, the lanes where they can uh, go. If I choose, let's say, looking at this a middle one here and I say that it can turn right, then it turns right or just go straight or the one on the right can go straight. So we can change that and that helps you direct the flow of traffic quite a lot. You can also uh, set up priority uh, lanes or giveaway lanes in priority or even a stop sign on um, junctions like this one. You can also set up where pedestrians can cross or not, like so. And if cars should go straight through, if they can change lanes at that junction or even if they can do a U-turn, so which is quite good. Another option is to actually change the speed of your roads and uh, also providing a way to block specific traffic. So if you don't want buses or general cars or just taxis on this road or services, for example, you just say no trucks and trucks won't uh, go through these lanes. So you can set that for each lane for the road. road. You can select the whole thing and you apply for the road. And finally, you have the option to disable parking on roads that have parking uh, on them. So I do have parking here. I could disable it and all the cars will be gone. So this is another powerful tool depending on what you are trying to achieve. If you've been watching my channel, you'll see that I use this feature quite a lot, especially on roundabouts like to set up roundabouts, this is the easiest way. Control, shift, left click and sets it up for you. So traffic manager is my favorite mod and I think still one that you can go without in 2022. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed this list of six mods uh, for your City Skyline City to start 2022. And let me know in the comments if you think like we should have uh, any other mods in this list or some mods that you always use and can't live without. But other than that, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a great end of the year and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Cutting my ties with